Well, here we are up on top. You can see here, this is the only thing I've removed my top side is the skylight and you can see the damage that we're looking at. I mean, this stuff is, I mean, it's just flaking out of there. So it's gonna be pretty bad. So once I get all this roofing material pulled off here, we'll assess how much of the, the wood needs to be replaced and then we'll get in there and do that. Um, I'm gonna take this off today. That's the vent cover for the bathroom. We're gonna need new vent caps. One of these is completely missing. And, um, but they're just brittle. I mean, you can just see how that's just flaking apart. So this stuff's such, it's so sun damaged that it's, um, you can't even really work with it. The awning's gonna have to come off. That thing's junk as well. So it's the air conditioner vent cover. Um, we'll figure out how that comes off in a minute. I haven't pulled one of those off before, but I can't imagine it being too hard. I'm gonna try to get the AC off today. And then this antenna is a significant problem. It has caused some major issues inside. That's really soft right there, so we're probably gonna have to replace all of that. Uh, I'm gonna have to do a lot of prep work on this. And I hope that um, I can get it cleaned up good enough and patched up good enough where we can get a watertight seal on it. That way we don't have any more issues. So that's kind of what we're looking at up here. I'm gonna start disassembling some of this stuff and see if I can get it off and cleaned up today. All right, so we're gonna try to get going removing this. Again, it's just covered up with this nasty stuff. We've got all that nasty sealant cleaned off there. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get these screws out and see what the wood looks like underneath there. We've got all of the screws out of there. Good. So all that wood looks good. I'll be able to strip that out and then move on from there. So, excellent. All right, let's see what we can get going with these vent covers here. I'm not sure what they what they look like. Oh, well, not much. More of the same, probably. We just need to repeat on the other one. But here we go. We got the covers off of these two. Um, not too bad. Just covered up with a lot of that lap sealant like everything else. Let's see if we can figure out. I mean, it's wet under there. Look at that. for having to take that out by hand. That is just horrible. So all this is gonna have to come out. Here's what it looks like. Inside where the antenna had been leaking and rotting out. I mean, this stuff's just nasty. That's the piece of paneling right there that goes into the bedroom, so. That's gonna be, um, it's gonna make quite a mess when I start ripping all this out. All right, let's start digging around on the top of this refrigerator cover and see what we can find here.
couple Phillips head. That all looks good. This is gonna be it for tonight. Got those opened up. Got those caps removed. Got the refrigerator vent cover off there. We still have the antenna, the radio antenna. And then we have this disaster over here with the TV antenna where it was mounted and leaking. So. That's what we've got done. And then we gotta get this off still. So there we have it. All right guys, we're back at it. Um, the last thing we have to remove on the roof is the uh, air conditioning unit. So um, we're gonna get going on that. And then once we get it removed, that should be it for the roof. We'll start um, taking off trim or the termination, um, the termination strips. I think that's what they're called, maybe, maybe not. And then we'll start removing the old roofing material and then we'll see what kind of damage we have up under there. So um, let me get some tools together and we'll start getting this pulled apart. So it looks like this has, um, it's got four long bolts that hold these two braces on and they go up into the unit itself. So let's pull these out. I'm horrible at keeping up with screws and bolts and what they go to. So I like to just put them in a bag, label it and keep everything together. That's just because I can't do it on my own. These will end up everywhere if I don't do this, so. All right, let's get the rest of these off. So you can see up in here some of those four bolts. We've got our wiring. Uh, this piece right here just comes undone. Okay, I think I'm gonna take this little cover plate off and see if I can disconnect these wires. Um, really, this is the, the only one here that I need to disconnect. All right, so you can see here, um, I just undid this one screw, pulled this little cover plate off, and then you can see where these wires come in, there's a little clip on the inside. And once we undo that, that's gonna free us from the top unit, since we already have this one disconnected, and we'll be good to go. We've got this um, disconnected here. We got this one disconnected, which was the one we had to remove the cover for. Everything else should be good to go. That'll free our unit up on top. 
and I'm not sure how much is going to be um, holding that in. So I know we're going to have some screws probably, and then a lot of lap sealant and caulk and crud and who knows what else. So let's get up on top, see if we can clean that up and get it all unscrewed, and we'll try to pull this thing off here. All right, let's see if we can get this thing coming off here. We're going to look away around. We've got everything removed up here. Air conditioner's gone. Refrigerator vent. Fans, skylights. We're gonna start uh, removing the roofing material and I'm hoping that we're gonna be able to peel it off in large chunks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and just probably cut around these, these termination points if, for now. And then I'm gonna get all this and then uh, removed and then I will come back and start scraping off lap sealant and trying to get those off of there. So that's what we're gonna do at this point. We'll check back in a little bit. 